Hey everybody, I'm Joel with Fit Warehouse. Hey guys, this is Travis, owner of Fit Warehouse, and today we're going to come to you with a, uh, a homemade sled for you guys that are on a budget. You may not have the necessary uh, funds, especially in this recession, um, to have the training equipment that you need, but with the summertime approaching and, and football and other summer sports, you're going to need some type of conditioning tools, and there's no better tool uh, to get athletes stronger, faster, and more conditioned than some type of sled. So what we're going to do today is show you our prototype model that uh, Joel, our kettlebell instructor, um, he kind of designed something similar to Elite's fitness prowler, but uh, ours is called the Mauler. So we don't want to step on anybody's toes, but if you would check this out. Joel, why don't you tell us exactly what, what it is that you used to make this, and uh, then we'll see it maybe in a demonstration. All right, basically the, uh, the frame is made out of uh, four by fours that I just had laying around the house. And uh, bought some pipe, had some uh, pads welded up. They're uh, they're screwed in with a steel flange on the bottom, so they're easily replaceable. So this is wood. The frame is wood, yes. Okay. And uh, bought some flanges and pipe, fabricated that. Front handles, low handles, and as you can see, it's also weight loadable from the center, which uh, makes makes things a little more of a challenge for sure. I'll tell you another thing that's pretty cool. Is you've already got multiple holes, so I noticed that you can offset the the uh, the pipes for pushing. So what's the purpose of this? Well, this is going to dynamically challenge your core uh, while you're pushing the sled. Uh, having to keep the sled on line, I mean, you're going to have to push harder with one side than the other. So that's obviously going to challenge your core a lot more. Absolutely. I noticed that you've got the uh, the metal skis at the bottom, similar to what we're accustomed to. So how did you uh, go about assembling those? I just had a, uh, a welding shop thread a, uh, I mean, a weld a, a uh, inch and a half nipple to a uh, six by twelve pad and put that bend in it for me. Painted them up, screw them in. Nice. Okay. So all in all, if you're on a budget and you're trying to uh, to go ahead and get a sled and and you don't have the funds to uh, to purchase uh, an original sled, what would you say that something like this would cost you uh, both financially and time wise? Uh, it cost me about $175 to make this right here. That's not including tools. Um, you could do it for $150. I'm going to do it another way, redesign it, and do it for probably less than $150. Nice. Well, there you have it, guys. I'm fired up. So let's uh, let's see this bad boy in action. We're not feeling like too many, uh, too much of a hero. It's Memorial Monday. Uh, we just finished moving a crap ton of furniture. Um, me and my wife, she, she got some furniture, so we've already had our workout for the uh, for the afternoon. So we're just going to load this up in the center, and we're going to take this bad boy for a spin. So watch this. Check it out. Well, all right. There you go. That's a mauler. There you have it. Strength, power, speed, on a budget. What more could you ask? Make sure you check out our uh, YouTube videos. Uh, make sure you check us out on Facebook, Twitter. We're all over the place. Uh, any questions? Any questions you guys got? Leave a comment below. Thanks.